Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem A good string taken from Code Forces D3 round 656 and it is a D problem. So let's see what the problem says. The problem says that we are given a string and it is of the form of 2 raised to power k. The length of the string is of the form of 2 raised to power k. That means uh, the string length is a power of 2 now uh, there is a definition of C good string so a string S is called C good if one of these condition is true first the length of the string is 1 that means a string contains only a single character and that character should be equal to C then we can call it a C good string otherwise the length of the character uh, sorry the length of the string is greater than 1 that means you can divide it into half uh, into two halves and the reason you can equally divide it into two half is this that is why the length of the string is perfectly power of two because when uh, when a number is perfectly power of two you can divide it equally in, uh, in two halves so if the number is eight you can divide it into four and four and now it becomes four four can be divided into two and two similarly two can be divided into one so that is the only reason why the string length is power of 2 so that we can divide it into half again and again till the string length reaches to 1 now uh, if the string length is 1 we know what to do otherwise if the string length is greater than 1 then I just mean just let me increase the font size yeah so if the string length is greater than 1 we can divide it into two halves uh, either the first half is equals to C and the second half is C plus one good string so see uh, a string is called C good if first half is equal to C and the second half is C plus one of good string or second half is equal to C and first half is C plus one of good string and if not we have to change some char characters and we have to find the minimum number of character that we needed to change so that the string is the input string is a good string so basically we have to find the minimum number of characters needed to be changed so that the input string is a good string so let's see how we'll be solving this problem uh, as that as the category says this is from divide and conquer and this is actually if if you are uh, there is one prerequisite for this problem and that is recursion if you should be able to understand a recursive code if not uh, don't worry all you have to do is just learn uh, four or five recursive problems start from very basic uh, start from either writing uh, recursive factorial or Fibonacci code and try to understand how recursion works and if you are good with recursion just by looking at this you can understand the solution this is like uh, if you understand the computer pro uh, computer science correctly then you know uh, there is some notion of a pseudo code this is exactly the pseudo code this this these three lines are exactly the pseudo code given to us to convert it into program and that is what i just did and if you are good with recursion you understand that this is nothing these three statements are nothing but pseudo codes and I, what I did I simply I have simply taken these three lines and converted them into code and BAM you see so let's see how it be solving this problem so again prerequisite is recursion I am assuming you are good with recursion and you can understand recursion code I mean recursive code so let's continue so since we want the minimum cost to convert the string into a good string so let's define a function get min which would return uh, the minimum cost to convert a string or substring uh, starting from l ending at r a good string with ch i mean this get min function would return the minimum cost to make the substring l through r a ch good string i'm not calling it c good string because the parameter i've taken ch so that is why i'm calling it ch good string so what would be the answer of the of the question of each query given here for example what would be the answer of this query the answer would be uh, 
get mean 1 n uh, 1 comma n comma a because get mean function returns the minimum cost to convert the whole of the string ranging from l to r so l to r should be 1 to n because we want this whole string we want this whole string to be converted into a, a a good string that is why the character i am passing is a and the range is 1 through n so this get mean function would return the minimum cost to convert this whole string 1 through n into a ch good string ch i am passing as a because i want this string to be a good string as mentioned in the problem statement this should be an a good string that is why the character i am passing is a good we haven't defined this function yet we are uh, theoretically we have only uh, we are only assuming that this function returns the minimum cost to converting this whole string from l to r into a ch good string so the question is how to define it now see if you want to make this uh, string an a good string there are only two possibilities as mentioned here as i am telling you that this is actually a pseudo code so there are only two possibilities either this or that because the string length is not one so the first possibility is that first half is equals to a and the second half is actually a b good string right so the first half needed to be converted to a there are two possibilities either the first half is equals to a because we want this whole string to be a good string so the first half is equals to a so that is what i have done here or the second half is equals to a what i have done here so see what is this and what is this cost see if we want first half to be equal to a all the character must be equal to a if some are not we need to change them so you can see in first half there are two characters which are not equal to a so we need to change them so this is one cost whenever you are going to convert uh, whenever you are going to uh, whenever you are going to uh, change either the overall string to this or this because we have two possibilities uh, for each of the possibility we have two costs defined with it first cost is when you are converting the first half to equal to ch then there are some characters that you need to change and that is first cost and what we can see here it is 2 because i have to change these two characters into a so this is first cost and the second cost comes with you have to convert the other half into ch plus one of good string right so currently ch is a because i want this to be an a good string now the second half needed to be converted into b good string so what is the cost of converting the second half into b good string there must be a cost defined with it as well so that is the second cost so whenever you are uh, exploring uh, one of the possibilities because there are two possibilities either convert the first half into ch character and the rest convert into ch plus one of the string or convert the first half into ch plus one uh, string and the second half into C, uh, all of the character ch so for each possibility there are two possible costs uh, associated so let's see how we would calculate the first cost of course calculating first cost is easy all you have to do is calculate the minimum and uh, if you are exploring the first exp uh, possibility that means you are converting the first half to equal to ch that means l2 mid must be equal to ch so the cost would be the number of character which are not equal to ch and if you see inside the code this get cost returns the number of character which are not equal ch in the range l to r right so it would run a loop from l to r and check how many characters are not equal to ch and that would be the first cost so first of all since we have two possibilities so just just this is the get mean function which returns the minimum cost to convert this is substring l to r into ch good string so first uh, this is the base case i'll be explaining in a moment if l is not equal to r if l is equals to r that means the string contains only a single character so uh, i'll be explaining this in a moment otherwise the string contains more than one character that means we have two possibilities to explore so first calculate the mid and then we have two possibilities first convert the first half oh just a second convert the first half convert the first half into ch and that has some associated cost and what is the cost the cost uh, this function would return 
that cause how many character you need to change because there are some character that needed to be changed uh, so when you are converting the first half to be equal to ch then we need to count the number of character we need to change plus we need to count the total number uh, the cost of converting the second half into ch plus one -th, uh, ch plus one -th good string so that is why i'm making a recursive call to from mid plus one to r that is the next half needed to be converted to be ch plus one of good string and what is the cost of it of course get mean function would, uh, would give you that and that is why we are having a recursive call to that and why recursive call see here we wanted to calculate the minimum cost uh what get mean function returns you get mean function returns you the minimum cost to convert the string from l to r into ch good string right and now i want what is the minimum cost to convert this string that is mid plus one to r into ch plus one good string and that get mean function can do and that is why we are making a recursive call to get mean function from mid plus one to r passing character ch plus one because this is the first possibility where the first half is converted into ch character and the second half is being uh, for the second half needed to be converted into a ch plus one -th character uh, good string and that is what we are doing here first half we are calculating what is the cost of, of converting all of the character in the first half equal to ch and the second half we are converting it into ch plus one -th good string otherwise the other possibility is that you convert the second half into uh, you convert the second half all of the character in the second half to be equal to ch and that gives you a certain cost and that is four in this case because all of the four characters needed to be changed so i uh, now i'm converting the second half into uh, second half all of the character of the second half equal to ch and that is why i'm calling the get cost function this time mid plus one to r and checking how many characters needed to be changed uh, to be equal to ch that is why i'm passing mid plus one to r that is one cost and another cost would be the to convert the first half to be equal to ch plus one good string for that of course l would be l and r would be mid and would be passing the ch plus one and this is how the recursive code works and in each test case what i'm doing is simply reading n the number of character and th this is a for loop rep is a for loop that runs from one to n each time reading the character in ar array ar is a character array and i'm using one base index system so as you can see this the recursive part is pretty much clear and as i explained earlier that this is actually uh this thing uh, these three statements are actually uh pseudo codes so you see this says the first half should be equal to c and the second half should be equal to c plus one code string and that is exactly what we have done here the first half we have converted to ch and the second half we are going for uh, what is the minimum cost to convert it ch plus one good string and the third statement says maybe that uh, one of the possibility is to convert the second half uh, into ch uh, equal to ch and the first half to be ch plus one good string and that is exactly what we have done here so i've done nothing but taken the statement and convert it into code and that is called the, uh, and hence this must be the pseudo code and now the first statement you don't see anywhere so the first statement is actually the base case because uh, why base case because if uh, the number of character in the string is equals to one you can't divide it into left or right and that is that means you have to stop here and if the number of character are same that means l and r should be equal to one if l is equals to r that means the string contains only a single character which is which can be referenced as ar of l or ar of r if it is already equal to ch you don't have to uh, you don't have to change it so you can return the cost zero if it is not equal to ch that means you need to change it to ch and that means it would return, uh, result into one cost and that is why you would return one so you see this is the base case and these are the recursive calls and this is how you solve this problem so if you are having uh, certain difficulties understanding this problem so what uh, it might be because of the recursion so i will advise you to solve some problems using recursion if you are solving problems using DFS and uh, segmentary, I think uh, you should be good with recursion because all of those are actually uh, all of those actually use recursion. So 
this was how you solve this problem if you have any doubt or query of course you can ask me in the comment section and the link of this code i'll be posting in the description so you can use it as a reference code so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you